YouTubers, running Brian here. Okay, as you can see, got both tractors in. I drove this one in, didn't even have to boost it. Let me show you. Battery that came with it. Runs perfect. All it needs is an oil change and uh, put my good deck on it. And it's back out the door to be resold. For what I paid for it, I should be able to make my money back and then some. It's a clean tractor, uh, no, really uh, no rust. Uh, you may be wondering why I'm gonna keep that engine in there and why I'm not putting the engine in the uh, GT here or the, the uh, garden tractor. It appears to have a bad hydro. Everything else appears to be okay. Good body panels. Engine runs, I had it running. I was actually had the engine running while I was uh, pushing it in, but um, the hydro appears to be bad so whatever i can salvage off of this because i want this good dash uh, cover we'll go on the truck because the truck one has the uh spot in it for the handle for the mower engagement which i hate about that this one has electric pto so that's right where my oil pressure gauge will go this engine is pressure lubricated as far as i know it will have the uh takeoff for a uh, pressure gauge so this engine here is going in the truck it runs good. I do have that cover, but let me show you something I noticed when I was reaching underneath to, just to see if it was a uh, loose um, belt. Find it again. Look at this. The dipstick tube's moving. So either somebody changed the oil and um, and uh, didn't know what they were doing, or I don't even know how they could have unscrewed it from the uh, engine with the plate right there. But uh, either they did they did something wrong on, along those lines and screwed up, or it was loose like that from the factory. I've actually heard of stories of these engines um, draining out all their oil and blowing up on people. Uh, this is probably a good one. But um, it runs it runs decent. It needs a carb clean, but it runs better right now than the truck's engine. The uh, truck's engine is going in mean and green, Craftsman Racer, and. Um, that will be repowering it. Hopefully I can keep it in its current uh, location, the way I've uh, remounted everything. This one here also has good five bolt uh, tires on the back, which will be saved for the diesel. Front tires are good, which will obviously be saved for the diesel. The hood, I'm gonna try and put the hood on the truck. It might be a little bit different in height. I haven't I haven't really checked yet. It's the big Craftsman, but um, these have a secondary plate right here that brings it up about an extra about three or four inches or sorry about an extra two or three inches so it might not work on the truck the deck's missing the chute cover not a big deal but other than that it's there i don't know what its condition yet i have another 44 inch deck sitting back there i'll sell them both in the spring the ones from the uh, diesel, which obviously the diesel doesn't require it anymore. It's a side drive hydro, which I have one, but it's out of that roper, which it's, it, I imagine it'd be completely different. So when ha what happens is when you go to put it in gear, um, it, it's just spinning. So it, it most likely one of the input shafts in the, in the actual transmission are busted. But I can pillage this thing for everything and use it on the diesel. Heck, if I really, really wanted to, this is a garden tractor. I could actually take everything off of the diesel um, and bolt it into here. It actually has the same engine plate right there. That's what those bolt holes right there are for. Because these tractors could either have the horizontal or the vertical um, just by mounting that plate. And on my diesel, it actually would not would not take much to convert this. So that is an actual possibility and have a little bit newer looking tractor, but it would only be for style. It wouldn't be really, um, there'd be really no point. There'd be so much work involved. It would not be worth it for me to do it. So, but it's, it's there. It actually, it could be done, which I probably won't do. But, um, unfortunately that's the story on this. I'm going to see if that battery's any good and, uh, go from there. I have a brand new battery I bought for, that tractor over there so what i might still end up doing is if i can salvage all the parts for that i want to put on to the truck from this one right here that's if i can 
separate this plate right here if this is all the same from here up because that's mainly what I want to do I see I don't know yet I gotta take a look at all this right in here and uh, see if it's a straight bolt into the truck I know the other tractor is it's not really a huge deal to replace that panel I don't have to so if I can I'm gonna get away with not bothering doing that and I'm going to um, sell that other tractor as well just as a yard tractor it has a it has a bent spindle but it's not really a huge deal if I can still run and drive with the engine that's in it I will do that and it really won't take much to do that so the only reason why I was going to swap over that uh, one kick panel there is because the hole for the stereo is going to move the stereo but it's not really a huge deal as long as I can get a good dash cover right here a good a second uh, dashboard and all the other parts right here that you can see I will do that instead but um not not bad not bad so they both run uh this one here will probably need carb gone through we'll see this one here is practically turnkey as you saw but uh that's pretty much it so i'll talk to you later please keep redneck like always and uh please subscribe and comment